in focus. Our Maria Bartiromo sat down exclusively with Oracle co-founder and executive chairman Larry Ellison for an in-depth interview. We start with his take on the future of the tech industry and how Oracle continues to beat back the competition. So Larry, let me turn to you. You're a statesman in the industry. Obviously, you've been around a long time and have watched small companies become big companies try to compete with you. Assess the industry for us. What, what strikes you most about what you've seen over the last several years, I'll say? Okay. Well, again, sometimes I, I liken the computer industry to the fashion industry, that, that certain brands get very, very popular, certain brands get very unpopular. IBM, when I first came into the industry, was the ultimate brand. It was not a company against whom you would compete. It was the environment in which you would compete. Amazon now is uh, kind of the, num the number one brand uh, in infrastructure cloud computing. Let me tell you an interesting fact. Amazon does not use AWS to run their business. Amazon runs their entire business on top of Oracle, on top of the Oracle database. They have been unable to migrate to AWS because it's not good enough. Now, I keep saying this, and they, they just spent another $50 million with us last year buying still more Oracle database. I keep saying this, saying, well, maybe our database is better than Amazon's databases. And, well, why else would Amazon keep buying our database? So they last year bravely said that they're sick of these, convers these comments of mine, and they're going to move off of Oracle. And they're going to move off of Oracle by 2020. Well, guess what? They took their first step. They just moved a bunch of their warehouses off of Oracle. And guess what happened? I'll send you a copy of Amazon's internal memo. It, they went down. It failed. They had a huge outage. And they said if they had stayed with the Oracle database, this wouldn't have happened. The Oracle database manages most of the world's data. Today, 10 years ago, nothing has changed. All of the world's important, valuable data is in an Oracle database. They're not in Amazon's database. Amazon won't use its own databases to run its business. So our job, so what have we done wrong? Okay, so well, okay, if you guys are so great, your database is so great, what have you done wrong? Well, we, we didn't get our database to the cloud quickly enough. So if you wanted a cloud database, you had to go to Amazon for a database, and then you're able to go to Microsoft for a database. It took us a while for us to build a secure cloud. It's really hard to build a secure cloud. It took us a while. We think we're there now. We have by far and away the best database in the world. Nothing's close. Uh, we show, show a series of benchmarks where we're 10 times faster than Amazon. More importantly, we're 10 times cheaper to run the same exact thing than Amazon on our database. So if you want all that security and want all that reliability, you have to be willing to, to spend less. That's what we've shown in a series of benchmarks. Even Amazon can't move. That's incredible. The, the fact that they're a customer and you continue to poke them to make sure, because they're trying to get at your market share in one area, and yet they're on your database well, platform. Well, people say, well, Oracle has no chance in database. Amazon's going to dominate everything. Well, you'd think one of the early customers that Amazon would move. How about Amazon? No, Amazon picked Oracle. How do you keep that leading position? Uh, well, we think we have, I don't know, a 10 to 20 year lead on Amazon and databases. Let me prove it. Another thing, Amazon uses Oracle, not Amazon. Amazon's transaction processing database that they have is called Aurora. Aurora is an open, open source database. They just picked up and made closed source on Amazon. They picked up and they didn't write it. They didn't write any of that. They picked up Aurora, put it on Amazon, made it available on their cloud. Well, so who owns Aurora? Who develops Aurora? That would be Oracle. It's called MySQL. That's our small open source database uh, that they claim is their big transaction processing database that's going to replace Oracle. Well, the idea, it's just preposterous, uh, you know, that Amazon didn't even develop the Amazon database. It's just a, a, a chunk of open source that we are responsible for called MySQL. The MySQL does not compare with the Oracle database. There's a reason Amazon uses Oracle. You know who else uses Oracle? Another company that hates us, SAP, uses Oracle everywhere. SAP 10 years ago said, I hate Oracle. I'm getting off of Oracle. I can't stand these guys, especially these guys goes on TV and makes fun of us. And because we have this great new database called HANA, and you know, SAP, I got this great right. HANA database. It's awesome. Well, 
they have all of these cloud services. Uh, you know, uh, they have success factors. Does it run on HANA? Oh, no. It runs on Oracle. They all run on Oracle. Every 95, 98% of everything SAP does runs on Oracle. A decade later, they still use Oracle, can't get to HANA. The Oracle database beat IBM in the database business, beat Microsoft in the database business. We've been in, in this business for 20 years, constantly making our database better. Now it's the world's first autonomous system. All of SAP's large customers, uh, the EU actually did a study. What percentage of, uh, of the top 100 SAP customers uh, in, in Europe, how many of them run the Oracle database? Only 99. <laughs> One actually ran DB, IBM DB2. Uh, so we only have 99 of 100. All of their cloud services, whether it's success factors, Ariba, all of these things they've been trying to get off of Oracle and on the HANA for a decade, still all run Oracle. The reason is Oracle's just a much better database than anyone else has. Uh, Satya Nadella was asked, well, if I could have any piece of software in the world, what would it be? And everyone thought he was going to say Google Search. And he said the Oracle database because it's the information age, and all the world's valuable information is sto stored in an Oracle database.